Hello all. So we're back to the Firefly 7S again, and good news is, well, some good news, some okay news. It fits. It's now in the gimbal, um, and it's right up against the side here, and that's a good thing. On the good news front, um, I emailed the Firefly people and told them about the problems I perceived with their OSD, which is if you turned it off, it was still showing uh, the camera icon and the recording icon in the... Um, in the live output as as I can show you here. So they wrote back and said we've updated the firmware and you can get it here and I've put a link down in the description if you've got that you can get it and, and here's the difference and as you can see it's evident by the lack of anything on the screen that that's fixed so that's brilliant. Uh, don't worry too much about the quality I've got of the DVR recording here. I've got an inkling while we got this strange warping on there and it's nothing to do with the camera I think it's down to the receiver and the combination of VTX receiver but I'm going to check that out um, more thoroughly and, and maybe show another video about that. Anyway, so that's one good thing. I also told them that the cable that they produce um, is far too big and won't fit in the gimbal. But I don't think they really cottoned onto that or didn't quite get what I was talking about because their only response was, yes, we're going to try, try and include that in the package. Not, not about like it needs to be this big, not this big. So what I actually had to do is, is make my own. And I thought to start with, I've got so many USB cables. I don't know about you guys. You buy a couple of devices, every single one comes with a USB cable. I've got boxes of them. So I cut one up only to find out that it has just four wires instead of five. And I found out, which I didn't know about USB cables, is that the precise cable I wanted is the one that's either not attached on a USB cable or is attached to ground, which would make it uh, a USB OTG cable. For a sort of Android or tablet device. Uh, so I went off and I bought my own ones, which uh, are quite nice because they're quite easy to solder. You've got three pins one side, two pins the other, which makes it easy. But my first attempt at it was fine. I've got so little um, space when this rotates between um, the frame here and the cable that I had to redo that completely. Um, with the cables facing inwards in order so that can freely move all the way up like that. So that does that now, so that's fixed and I can fly that, hooray, and I've got the GoPro one so if I want to swap back I just plug that in and I'm good to go. But I have to say, with this being the easy alternative, and I'm guessing it's just um, basically a 5 volt regulator in there, which is the case of, yeah, it's like a Beck, but because this is built for an RC type connector, I can't think of any instance where you'd have some sort of radio control thing like a quad or a plane or anything where you won't already have some sort of 5 volt back on it. Um, from my point of view, I don't even want the 5 volt. I'm not going to power it with a battery. I'm just, I just want the video out. I'm not going to be flying it that long that the video is going to run out. So this, I think, is a bit bit pointless. I mean, if it's a Beck, it could be a Beck in a cable, it could be out there and just pretty much we just don't need something this big. I mean, I'd like to think this is just a case of my gimbal not fitting, but generally speaking, all of them, the camera is flush up against the gimbal, so I can't see whether it's going to ever fit uh, a gimbal-based uh, controller. So I'm asking Firefly, have another look. It's this big. It needs to be this big in order to fit in. Because for now, I have to say, if you want an easy, cheap GoPro-like camera to fit straight in the gimbal, get the 6S, because that should fit straight in and it has the same connector, or so I'm told, as the GoPro. The thing is, I, I think that's a bit of a shame, because I like having a screen. I do a lot with my GoPro, uh, with my handheld thing, and this is, this is called a freeway, so it folds out and it gets bigger. Um, and I use the screen all the time for looking through and framing up the shot. Um, and it helps you keep it nice and steady. So I think it's quite good to have a screen, but if you want to use it for both things, it makes it more difficult because you've got to get the soldering iron out and make up your own adapter. It's just, it's not just a plug and play replacement like it need to be. So five five people, please listen and maybe think about, okay, yeah, have this one with voltage regulator, but also have a little teeny one um, that will actually work. Anyway, that's my update for now and I'll see you later.